Aries, welcome back to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today we're going to be doing a weekly reading for you for the week of September 18th to September 24th. We're going to take a look at your love life. I like to go up and down. So one week is love, the next week it's past, present, future. I just finished up with the monthly reading, so hope you enjoyed that, Aries. Love doing the Celtic Cross. Happy to be bringing that in. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's look at your love life. We're going to look at your energy, their energy, the relationship itself, where the energy is as it stands. Now, if you're single, this is an energy coming towards you, or this could be a past person, okay? Take what resonates. We're also going to be using some messages of love, oracle cards, and wisdom of the oracle clarification at the end. So I hope you enjoy this reading, Aries. Whoa, that's not, these are slippery. I love these. They're illuminated. But they're slippery. Let's see. I enjoy the love reading so much, especially as we're entering into Libra season. Leaning into love. Let's see what you got going on. Ooh, the fool, Aries, the emperor. You're showing up like a boss. Page of cups. Are you making a love offer? Someone around you make a love offer? Ooh, Aries. You've got a huge tower on someone's life around their love for you. Wow. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, you've got something happening. You've got something cooking up. All right, Aries. Overall energy for the reading. Oh, this I had to like sit up here. <laughs> What's happening here? Aries, okay. This week you've got you're feeling a little bit guarded right now. Whoever's seeing this, whatever Aries see, you know, group of people that are that just uh listening to this, this third week is gonna be kind of pivotal for you, all right. You have been guarded against somebody, something. You're feeling defensive. We're going to clarify that in a minute. Why are you feeling defensive? Your energy is like, whoo, telling you what. You've got the energy. I can't believe it. You've got the full. Okay, you stepped off into a brand new beginning. You feel like you, you are in a brand new cycle, either with a person that you've had a history with, or you're opening up into brand new opportunities as a single person or you are in a new relationship and it is making you feel more yourself, more standing in your power, more of the leader that you are, Aries. And I think that more and more you're opening up yourself to this person. We're gonna clarify these energies though. Let's see to the messages of love oracle. We're gonna cap these energies off with the messages of love oracle card. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Love that. So this person makes you feel abundant. Healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So I think your person is doing a lot of healing work around themselves. Your true love is already part of your life. So whoever it is that you're thinking about right now, this relationship, it is someone you know. Someone that, you know, you, you feel intuitively guided to go towards, I'm seeing. Their energy, justice, coming back into a place of balance in this feeling of love for you. It's like a major epiphany happened in their lives. I think they've done a lot of healing work. Maybe it's someone that, you know, is, has come to you and they're just like, wow, I can't believe that I've manifested this Aries in my life. And I have so much love for, for this Aries. And I, my heart is full, totally full. Aries, I love to see this. Sorry, I got barking dogs, package deliveries, Amazon to keep coming, keep coming, Amazon, mail, you name it, a leaf. We got, we got dogs. <laughs> oh, and the energy for the overall connection, the high priestess, the three of cups and the ten of swords. So whether you feel like um, this could end at any moment or there's been some wounding um, around both of y'all's hearts, whether it was inflicted on each other or what you both carry. Um, you're both being guided to celebrate, okay? Move past whatever hurts and celebrate your love in the here and now because your true love is a part of your life. We're clarifying right now this defensiveness that you feel. Are you trying, you're trying to defend yourself. Oops, where did that go? What the heck? I slid in between the cushions here. Ah, the 10 of swords wanted to reverse. I think that's spirit telling me that you've, this is, this is this is past stuff. Past stuff, not necessarily what you guys have created for each other. Past past people stuff. All right. So the um, this feeling of defensiveness, 
um, you feeling a little bit guarded. Maybe you went through a period of pain, a, a, a cycle that ended. Um, whatever it is that you felt defensive around, a person, place, or thing, I think your wish right now is to come out of that place of grief. You've done enough work on yourself. Like I said, you've done the work. The cards are saying you've done the work. It is time now to reap the benefit of the work that you've done, I'm hearing. You're stepping off into a brand new beginning. I, this is, I think this is a new connection that you're looking at, Aries, and it's full of a lot of potential, but you still feel a little guarded in your heart because of the past person who left you feeling really brokenhearted, I'm hearing. What's the fool? Page of Swords. Yeah, I think you're really in a strong place of evaluating. Whatever love comes in, you're, you've created a certain level of abundance in your life. You've celebrated you know, your achievements. And now I think you're really willing to study and use your discernment moving forward around anyone coming towards you. I'm looking at an Aries that maybe, I think you know who I'm talking about, but it's still new. It's still new. Let's clarify the emperor here for you, Aries. Emperor, yeah, you're moving past difficult times. Like I said, this is an Aries that is guarded. You know, I think you're holding on to some past hurts that left you feeling confused with the Five of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. You were coming out of a period of unrest, a period of difficulty. Um, around your heart space. And I think that you've been heavily guarded around your heart space. And I think you're opening up. I think someone has caught your eye and you were thinking about asking them out or you've got somebody who's thinking about asking you out. I think you're opening up to a potential new love opportunity here, Aries. You're ready to move past the stage of grief around an ending with another person. You're ready to get over that. Yep, the wheels turn in your favor. You've got a lot of options. Whoever it is, you want to feel like you guys are coming together in a spirit of cooperation and you're working together as a team. I think you, you've got some new choices. You're looking at choices in love, Aries, all right? I think this is definitely a single Aries or a relatively single Aries or someone who's not completely in a commitment yet, okay? Not in a complete commitment yet. Whoever's coming towards you, though, they're still working on healing and coming back into a balance. But it's going to feel like a huge like tower moment the minute they, they meet you because they're going to see you and go, wow, wow. You're going to knock somebody over, like literally with your energy. Like they're going to, whoop. I just felt it. They're just going to feel like you just like, whoo. Call that the Beyonce moment, you know, when you see someone and it's like Beyonce with the fan, right? And she's all fierce. This person's going to have a fierce moment with you. The wheel is turning in your favor. Now you're just like, I, I got I got a lot of options and I want to make the right choice, whoever it is. I want it to feel like our hearts are open and I want to feel like we can come together and we're both going to cooperate with each other. I think you're very clear about what you're looking for, Aries. Let's see what your person, either this potential person or somebody you're kind of entertaining in your field of opportunities here or someone that... Whoever it is, it's someone that really has a lot of love to give. Ooh, justice. Okay. I think whoever it is that you are calling towards you, they want it all. They're looking for long term. They have gone through their own period of mourning and grief. They've been waiting too. I think you're attracting somebody who's been through a similar life journey where they've gone through a recent heartbreak they don't want to be just playing around with love. This isn't just a, you know, I just want a lover person. I think you're trying to call in like your life partner here, Aries. If you have not met them, you've got somebody that is coming into your energetic field who has been waiting to for a long-term commitment. And they're going to want that with you, Aries. It's going to feel like finally they're going to feel so justified that they went through their period of grief and healing and they've been waiting. I think they've been discerning too and they've been waiting for love. Oh, oh, two of cups, two, two of cups. Yes, I'm telling you, you got a brand new cycle coming, Aries. You have got love coming. Love is coming speedily towards you. Look at that. It's going to be such an abundant cycle for them. They're going to have so much love for you. It's going to be like, I found the one. I found the one, Jenna. You're going to come back to this reading and go, you were right. You were right, Jenna. You got love coming towards you, Aries. That is plain and true. Look at that. That's what the cards are saying. This person has so much love for you, you're not going to doubt it at all. Not one bit.
If you were confused about your past person, about the way they felt, you're not going to be confused at all. This person, two two of cups. That means both of you have a mutual shared love for each other. You can express it. You can feel it. It's authentic. It's true. I think you're calling in your true love, Aries. True love. It's already part of your life. Maybe you like talking to a bunch of people, but there's one person you're like, hmm, I'm really curious about this person. Let's see. What is this tower? <laughs> oh, yes. This person's like, finally, look at that. This is someone who's in the limelight, who's stepping into this. They're like, you make them feel like they're like, you know, a star. Like the way you see them and the way you love them, it makes them feel completely seen, heard, validated, understood. This is the card of self-love, self-acceptance you there's something about the way you make them feel it's like they're going to just have like a a like they're going to love themselves even more because i just saw 11 11 they're going to love themselves so deeply because of the love that you give them it's ridiculous this is an independent person aries you're calling in a true independent person who's done a lot of work on themselves and they're going to feel so victorious when you guys meet when you guys really start opening up to this love bond and you make this choice to come together. Two here. I'm going to look at it this way too. We're going to break this down. This is a new way of looking at it that I haven't done in previous readings. Right now, you're coming at this, right? As the fool. They're coming out with only if it's balanced. All right? You're coming out with, I'm really studying the situation and I know what I deserve and I want to celebrate though because I've been waiting for this. They're like, Hey, I'm going to give you what you deserve. I've been waiting too. I've been sad. Okay. Moving down to the emperor. You're like, this is who I am. You know what I mean? I know how to move past what doesn't work for me. I've had my sense of confusion. I'm really clinging to my sense of self here because I'm an emperor. Hear me roar. They're like, I see your emperor. I love that about you. I love that you're an emperor. I have so much love for you. It's going to grow and grow and grow and grow. It's going to multiply and we're going to create an abundant life. And I deserve this new face, damn it. And then you're going to come here and you're going to be like, would you like to go out? Would you like to get to know me? They're like, would I? Hell yeah, I would. Ah, you know? And then the, the, the angels are singing. That's, yeah, that's what's happening here. Or that's what's going to happen, Aries. Did you like that rundown? That's the little, you know, that's speed dating right there. <laughs> that's speed tarot. <laughs> All right. Let's look at the energy of the connection. That was fun. I just, I was like the other night I was pulling love cards because I'm like, I want to add a new twist. And it was like, I want to start dialoguing between each section in this love connection before I would just look at you, then them. And now it's like you, them, and this field too. It's, it's all connected, right? Even in the reading. All right. So I think you both are going to be intuitively guided to each other. High priestess, this mutual energy between the two of you. You go, by, you go, blah, blah, blah. you both feel intuitively guided to fall in love, to be together. You both feel like this is your true love. <laughs> yes. Aries, you are calling in the, the love of a lifetime here. And you guys are going to feel a little bit like, oh. All right. Hey, the path to love and following your intuition does not come without a little bit of feeling a little bit worried. All right. It's not unusual on the road to happiness to feel like uh, a little fearful. I think you guys are both afraid about opening up. Can I trust this? That's what I'm hearing. Can we trust this? You know what? You guys got to understand that you got each other's backs. Okay. You're opening up. They want balance. They're looking for long term. Okay. You guys both have happiness here in this column. If you let your intuition guide you. If you open up to love, okay, if you open up to love, it will grow, it will grow, it will deepen. Your intuition is telling you it will. Don't hold on to the fear, okay? Don't let fear guide you. Don't let your past fears guide you, okay, people? Both of you, don't listen to this, okay? You don't need this going into this new cycle. This is what you focus on, okay? Do not be afraid of being happy. You deserve happiness. You deserve love. Okay, I'm putting that Ace of Swords down. Drop that guard, okay? It's going to get in the way of this new love, building it, okay? 
coming together, three of cups. You and your bossy ass emperor self. And I mean that with love, okay? You guys are bosses. You guys are leaders. You guys are respected in your community. You're coming out of a period of distrust. You're coming out of a period of not having love. Ace of cups. You got to trust and love again, Aries. You got to trust and love again. Trust and love again. That's what they're saying. Both of y'all. Keep your heart open. Trust and love again. Yep. You guys have both been heavily wounded and I in the past with other people. And I'm telling you, both of you feel it. Both of you are scared that this is going to lead to another, you know, hurtful situation. Okay. If you want to carry pain into this cycle, into this relationship, right? And let that inform you moving forward. And you don't want to keep your heart open. It is going to shoot you guys in the foot. So if, if you need to start going through this path, not letting your fears guide you, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, if you guys really want to celebrate your love, you keep your heart open, both of you, and you drop any distrust you have around things potentially ending. If I'm telling you, the Ten of Swords is the fear we ha hang on to about an ending that may never come to pass, okay? You can't love from that place of fear, okay, Aries? Do not do that to yourself. Let's clarify this Ten of Swords between y'all. I think you're worried about rejection. I think you're worried that if you open your heart and you make an offer that they're going to reject you. You're like, no, they're out of my league or vice versa. Mm -mm. Yep. Came up. Yep. I'm telling you. Yep. There's fears. There's hidden fears around this, around the potential of this. I think that you guys need to open up. You need to have faith. You need to take this leap of faith. Leap of faith here. Leap of faith here. Leap away from the fear of this not working out and just see what happens. See what happens. You guys have a lot of hidden emotion here. It's like you guys have both been saving up all this love energy for a while. I think both of you guys have not been in a falling in love. Maybe you've been liking falling in like, but now you're like, ooh, I've, I've caught something here that really has my attention. And it's going to be an abundant cycle, an abundant phase, but you've got to come out of this feeling of fear, okay, of rejection. Okay, overcome the fear of rejection, Aries. That's right going to be your title for this week. Overcome your fear of rejection. This is a beautiful, beautiful love. Yes, why? Here's the thing. I think that you're still questioning the previous cycle, why all that pain had to happen. Well, so you could heal. And you could heal these wounds of abandonment. You could heal from your previous pain. You've got someone coming into your life, Aries. And it's going to really make sense all the why. Okay, it's going to make all the sense in the world why all of this had to happen. So you could call in your divine counterpart and you can call in your true love. You want true love, you got to heal and you got to resonate with that true love vibration. Okay, and that means healing your old wounds, healing these things that limit you from believing that you can have it. Okay, because you got this, it's right at your fingertips. So let yourself love. Okay, it's time to love again, Aries. All right, sending you. Oof. You're going to have fun. You're going to have fun this week. Open up, okay? Take care.